All right, I have some Ridge Killers here. Some wallets I think are even better than Ridge Wallet. Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, a while back, I made a video about Ridge Wallet, about my review, my opinion about it. Going in, I wasn't sure how I would like it, but it turns out I really like that wallet. That video was really well received. Then afterwards, I made a video about Exter, about Exter versus Ridge, and that was well received as well. Today, I'm gonna start my first video in Ridge Wallet Killers. Now, I say first because I have two. Now, this first one is going to be on Ridge Wallet killers that are very similar to the Ridge Wallet. In my second part, I'm going to be talking about Ridge Wallet killers that are great wallets in the kind of smaller metal minimalist style, but not exactly poised to be a Ridge Wallet killer necessarily. Now, I'll have links down below to all of these wallets. If you're interested in any of these, definitely check out the links down below. A lot of these are affiliate links that really supports this channel and allows us to do more and more content just like this. So I always appreciate it when you do that. Now, Ridge Wallet was started on Kickstarter and it has exploded into just a monolith in the wallet space. It's become just a huge sensation in the minimalist wallet community. People everywhere are using this wallet and I think for good reason. It's a great wallet. It's a very simple looking wallet that is made with two slabs of aluminum or titanium. They have carbon fiber, even gold as well. It holds up to 12 cards, has an elastic band around it, and you can secure cash with either the cash clip or the cash strap or even both if you want that. Of course, there's a little ridge on the side of the wallet that allows you to push out cards or pull cards out as you wish. It's very small, very lightweight, and just slides in your pocket and disappears. It has a lot of great things going for it. But today, we're gonna be talking about wallets that I think are even better than Ridge. Even though I really love Ridge, I do think there are wallets out there that I think do it a little bit better than them. So let's go ahead and start talking about these wallets. Now, the first wallet is a wallet by Decadent Minimalist. I believe this also started on Kickstarter, and this is the utter uh, truest form of minimalism. It's a wild design that I think is really cool. Just look at this wallet. This doesn't even look like a wallet. It almost looks like a machine part. It's a very simple wallet that is truly minimal. It's just a bracket, essentially, and you slide the cards through the side, and they're held together by friction. There is a detent that holds it in place. They sell the wallet in different materials, but the model I have here is in titanium, and it's a 12-card model. But I also have the aluminum model as well. Now, if you get this wallet, you have to be mindful of how many cards you use. They offer it in a 5, 8, and a 12-card capacity capacity, and there's no outside expansion or capacity in any other sense for cards. What you get is what you get as far as number of spaces available. They offer other accessories as well, like a cash clip that takes up a card slot, and what they call a privacy card or an RFID blocker, and it also takes up a card spot. The wallet itself isn't RFID blocking, so if you're looking for something like that, you'll probably have to get the privacy card. It's a great wallet if you only need the bare bones needed for a wallet. I think it looks really cool, and it's really well machined. It's easy to get the cards in and out. Obviously, there's nothing there almost. The only criticism that I have is that it tends to rattle if it's not completely filled up. And also, I'm not a fan of cash clips in general, but to be fair, that's a common criticism among many of the wallets I'm going to mention. But I think this is a great wallet. It's just the minimal bare bones essentials that you need for a wallet. Just be mindful of how many cards that you need. And if you only need something for cards like that, I think this is great. All right, now let's compare this to Ridge. Now compared to Ridge, they're actually similar in size. Decadent Minimalist is slightly longer and wider, but not by much. And this also depends on the capacity of the wallet that you're after. Unfortunately, I didn't film the Ridge with enough cards to compare. Now, ease of use, I think, is a lot easier with Decadent Minimalist. All you do is just slide the cards out. And Ridge is a good wallet, but it's slightly heavier, and accessing the cards is a lot more involved in my experience. And it is not a joy to use with Ridge. Both wallets come from a similar place, and both are great for different reasons for me. So for me, I think this is kind of a tie. It just depends on what you're looking for. But if you're looking for something that is ultra minimal, definitely check out Decadent Minimalist. All right, next is Axwell Wallet. They started in 2017, and they're making a wallet that they believe is a better style wallet. Now, Axwell is a pretty new company on the metal wallet scene. They started in 2017, and they are making a really great alternative to Ridge, and I think they offer a lot of value and quality in their wallets. 
I have two of their wallets. One is copper and the other is aluminum. Now these are RFID blocking. They hold one to 12 cards. They include a cash strap and a money clip. They have magnetic cover plates that are replaceable and these wallets have a lifetime warranty. Some things I love about Axwell are that it just looks great. Something about it communicates that it's really sturdy and solid. I also love that you get the money clip and the cash strap both together. Something you don't normally get with these style of wallets. They also have a few add-ons that you can get like a coin tray, which I have here, a multi-tool, and a Chipolo tracker, which I've mentioned before on my extra wallet. I also like that they have this in copper, another option that is not really available in these style wallets. It ages and patinas really nicely, and copper is naturally antimicrobial, which is cool. Some things are subjective and personal taste, obviously. Like for instance, I don't really care for cash straps or money clips in general. But my biggest complaint here is the magnetic cover plate system. I really appreciate the idea, and I think this could have been great. But the magnets are a little too weak. It's a little too easy to take off the plate, which isn't bad for the front, but is bad for the back, which holds cash access. Having these plates come off so easily, I think is a big negative here. But maybe your mileage may vary, and maybe you like the fact that you can take the cash clip off. I think it is pretty cool that you can change these plates out with different plates. You can have two different color plates if you want, two different metal plates if you want. And I think that if they change the magnets to maybe ceramic magnets, something with a stronger magnetic pull, I think this would actually be a lot better. It's a very nice wallet that seems heavy duty in general and looks really cool. It does the job and offers a great value for what they have here. Now let's compare it to Ridge. I think the biggest thing here is that it's very much inspired by Ridge. I do like that they are changing things and doing their own thing with the design, but it's definitely inspired by Ridge to start with. Something that I think may be a con here. People might see this and think, well, why would I get this over Ridge? Compared side to side, they're almost identical in dimensions, or at least they're so close I can't even tell. I love the look of Axwell more, and I think it's more along what I would like in a wallet. They're both very similar in dimensions and size, pocketability. This is still a great wallet. It also holds more cards than Ridge. It's cheaper than Ridge and it offers the cash strap and cash clip. So some people might actually really like this more. Also too, Axwell has the coin tray, which I think is a great feature. If you have coins at all, or if you wanna hold an extra key or something in the little tray itself, that's a great add-on. This one is a tough one, but I still think this is a great wallet and I definitely think you should check it out. So if you're looking for something like this, if you like copper, if you have more cards than usual, definitely check out Axwell wallets. Next is Aviator Wallet. And Aviator Wallet reached out to me a while back, a couple of years ago. And so I've been sitting on this for longer than I should have. This is a very slim wallet with a couple of really interesting features here. Now, Aviator makes a really cool metal wallet design and it's made in Germany. On the front, it says ultimate slim wallet in truncated wording. And I think that's really clever, especially for advertising a small wallet. It's made of aluminum, probably aircraft grade, I'm assuming. It's RFID blocking, comes with a coin holder in the box, holds up to 20 cards, depending on the model. It has a lifetime warranty. It's made in Germany, has a pull strap for a quick card access, and is customizable with various upgrades for storage, cash clip, or internal frame, and also has an Apple AirTag clip option. Now, Aviator has two different wallets, but mine is the Slim Wallet, which I think is still better anyway, and has more features. Now, this is a wallet that gets it. I love this design. They innovated precisely where they needed to, and I think that the attention to design is exemplary. The front has a front face cutout that allows you to slide out the top card if you have a card that you use the most. The elastic strap is pretty standard, but I love the pull strap here that gives you instant access to all your cards all at once. And though I don't really carry coins that often, what I love about the coin slot is that you can put a spare key or even cash in there securely. Big plus. And it's a great size. It's very, very small. I love how space age and sleek the appearance is. It looks impressive and it definitely looks like something in aviation or space age or something. But one criticism that I have is that I'm not a big fan of some of the add-ons that they feature. I don't know what advantage some of these bring. Why do I want or need a coin slot made of different materials? Why do I need or want a different frame material? And what does the cash clip even do if it's the same size as the elastic band? As much as I love the design, it's fantastic. I don't understand the ecosystem around the wallet like I do other wallet designs. But I still think this is a great design and is probably one of my favorite designs in this list just because of how well everything was thought out. I love that you can take the top card out. I love the quick strap. I love the coin holder and I love the size. Now let's compare this to Ridge. Compared to Ridge, this wallet is easily superior and is the clear winner to me. They're almost identical in size and the Aviator might even be a little smaller. To me, when I compare the two, Aviator provides so many more features 
and is just easier to use, that it would be difficult for me to recommend Ridge by comparison. It's way easier to use on every level, and I think for me personally, it just looks cooler. I love this wallet. I don't think their upgrades for the wallets are worth it in my opinion, but the base wallet design I think is amazing. And to me, this is much better than Ridge. If you're looking for a metal wallet design that is super easy to use and has a little bit of everything, definitely check out Aviator Wallets. Next is Kapla Wallet, and they have a wide variety of color options, which I think is really one of their strengths. And Kapla actually sent me all of their wallets. <laughs> and they've made a metal wallet that is one of the thinnest wallets I have ever seen. Now the Kapla Wallet is another new wallet company, and they currently have only one design of their wallet in their line, but it's a really good one. It's made of aluminum and comes in a ton of colors. And I have all of them. <laughs> they also make a couple different style of carbon fiber wallets as well. The wallet is RFID blocking and holds up to 12 to 15 cards and has a lifetime warranty. It's super small and is probably the thinnest wallet I've ever seen, even compared to any other wallet in this list. One of their strengths is just how it looks and feels. It's very apparent that they spent a while refining the design aesthetics and it looks very sleek and polished. And I also love that there's so many color choices. They went above and beyond here. I also love that they color match the elastic band. That's completely unique to Kapla. You can even buy different color bands and mix and match. The design at first glance looks fairly derivative, but there are a few tweaks that stand out to me. Colors are vibrant and seem very durable, not just a coat of paint. The elastic band is recessed into the body, making it lower profile on the sides and not adding anything to the width. All the edges are rounded over and smooth, more so than on some other wallets. And the thinness of the actual metal is a great plus here. And having the cutout in the center makes so much more sense. You can access either one card at a time or all of them just with a slight push. I don't really know if I have many cons with Kapla other than to say that there's just one wallet design, one strap design, and not much more to their ecosystem here. Kapla is very streamlined in what they offer, which can be a pro or a con depending on your outlook. But I think it is a really great wallet overall. All right, now let's compare it to Ridge. I think the defining factor that wins me over here is the center cutout for the card access. It's so much easier than with Ridge. Even though the idea seems the same, just moving that cutout to the center and the bottom makes it so you can do everything one-handed and you have so much more leverage in the center as compared to on the side corner. Size is very similar on this compared to Ridge, but this seems like it's a lot thinner and lighter. For me personally, I think that if I were going for a simple metal wallet design and I had these two options, for me, I would choose Kapla easily just because of that center cutout. I think this is a great wallet, especially for people who really like vibrant colors. If you like those type of things, if you like this cash strap design, if you like to change things out, I think this is a great option. What I thought was really a chore and burden for Ridge has now become a great feature with Kapla. I really applaud it for that, and I think this is a great wallet to get. Definitely check out Kapla Wallets. Next is a wallet by GeoGrit. And GeoGrit is making a wallet here entirely in the United States. And what I think is really cool about their wallets is their wallets look incredibly tough. You could probably throw these off a bridge and they would be totally fine. Now, GeoGrid is another company that seems to be pretty new. They make all their wallets in the USA. It's made of aluminum. It's RFID blocking. It holds up to 12 cards, has either a cash strap or a money clip, and it has a lifetime warranty. They offer it in a few different colors and in carbon fiber. I have two, and they're the same color, which is concrete gray. First, I love how tough it looks. It almost dares you to beat it up. This wallet just looks solid. I also love the center cutout for a card access. That's a huge improvement on the metal wallet design. And I love the size. It's very small. I think really the only criticisms that I have is that the money clip isn't quite as deep as other wallets I've seen, but the clip is a little bit lower profile, which is also nice. Another criticism I have is that it just has a lot of screws with this design. And if you were to have to take this apart, you'll be there for a while. It seems like something they can improve on future iterations. But I think my gripes are kind of minor here. I think overall, this is still a great wallet. Now compared to Ridge, the size is very similar. I think this is just a hair larger, but practically the same size, at least in your pocket. You probably won't notice the difference. The real benefit between this and Ridge is that center cutout. That is a big change. Aesthetics are different, of course, so you may like one over the other. I think I prefer GeoGrit's aesthetics more, but I think that center cutout gives it an advantage over Ridge in just the right way. It makes getting your cards easy. So for me, this is definitely a winner over Ridge, personally. 
I really like this wallet from GeoGrit. The quality is great. The design looks fantastic. I love knowing that this is just going to take a beating for the rest of its life. And even if you do manage to beat it up, there's a lifetime warranty there. Overall, great wallet from GeoGrit. Definitely check it out. All right, next is a wallet by Apache Pine. Now, I got this wallet and then recently when I was writing the review of it, I realized that this company actually is not around anymore. When you go to their website, it actually diverts to some kind of felted wool website. I decided to include it anyway as a way to kind of talk about Amazon knockoffs. These are typically made in China, look very similar to existing designs, if not identical, and are extremely cheap. I usually hate knockoffs and I never suggest them, just never. This Apache Pine wallet really isn't great. The problem with this wallet is bad design. Just making a wallet with any type of cutout is not good enough. The cutouts here aren't deep enough and they don't even get your cards out. The experience of getting your cards is somehow even worse than Ridge and that's hard to believe. And the quality is just okay. And it seems like that's the standard fare for Amazon knockoffs. Overall, I just suggest not getting cheap wallets that you find on Amazon. Resist the urge and get something with a better design and better quality. So obviously in my comparison with Ridge, Ridge wins here. Next is a wallet by Gear Infusion, and Gear Infusion makes a lot of different kind of small gadgets. Recently, they started making wallets, and I think this is a really cool wallet that is very simple, and that's one of its strengths. Now, Gear Infusion is a fairly new company that I believe started on Kickstarter. They also make several other cool EDC designs, and I think a lot of their multi-tools look really cool. I really want to check those out in the future. But their Pulse X1 wallet is what I have, and it's made of aluminum, it's RFID blocking, and holds up to 15 cards, which is a lot of cards. It has a corner cutout and has what they call a strap channel, which is an elastic band that runs through the wallet without adding any bulk. And I believe this is also made in the USA. Now, this is a great, super small wallet. Wallet. It's designed well and makes the metal wallet simpler and easier to use. And it could just be stuffed with cards. 15 cards is a fat stack of cards. The corner cutout is a unique spin on the wallet design, but it's a huge win, I think. It's easy to take a card out from the corner or push a card to the side. It adds a lot more leverage to the cards being used, which is a great improvement. I also really like the simplicity of the design too. There's only a few pieces to this wallet, and I don't even know if it has screws. I can't see any. The strap channel, as it's called, is a great design feature, and it can be modified and moved to the outside of the wallet for outside cash access. There's not many negatives that I see with this wallet design. I really like the size a lot. It's a very small size, probably as small as you can get for a card. I love that there's no screws to use. There's no really maintenance at all to this wallet. And of course that outside corner cutout is a great addition and feature. Now compared to Ridge, this is definitely the winner by comparison. It somehow is even smaller than Ridge, or at least looks like it from my eye. It holds more, it's easier to use, and looks way simpler and more sleek. With Ridge, you'll actually notice that they give you a bit driver with each wallet because they have so many screws to adjust if you want to take your wallet apart. But with the Pulse, I mean, just find a screw. But I really love the simplicity of the design here. It doesn't need to be more complicated. This is really a minimalist wallet. By comparison, Ridge looks really complex. This is super simple. There's no screws to use. The corner cutout is a great tweak here. And I like that you can change the elastic band to fit your needs better with the wallet use. Overall, I love this Pulse X1 from Gear Infusion. If you like the form factor of Ridge, but you want something more simple and even easier to use, definitely check out Gear Infusion. I think they're amazing. Next is the Akinai Xto wallet. Now, Akinai, first of all, it's hard for me to say. I keep wanting to say Akini. <laughs> Akinai makes these wallets that are made of entire blocks of metal. They have a really cool design that is very minimal, but is designed in a way to add a bunch of functionality in the wallet. The Akini Xto wallet is mostly a solid piece of metal. And I say mostly because there is a back plate. There's no screws or elastic. The cards slide in and out of both sides of the wallet. It's made of aluminum, is RFID blocking, and can hold four, six, eight, or 10 cards respectively. It holds cash and business cards, and it's made in the USA. I really enjoy this wallet because it's so simple. I really like simple designs. I love not having to worry about potential points of failure or malfunction or anything moving, any moving parts. Getting cards is easy, and you can use the front card for an ID, which is perfect for my use. And it even holds cash. There's a little hidden nook in the back that holds cash perfectly. It's sleek and really well made. 
The quality on this is just spectacular. They also sell additional back plates with different designs and even a phone attachment that just slides into place on the back of your phone and lets you turn your wallet into a kickstand, which is genius. The wallet is very small and feels pretty ergonomic. Accessing cards with one hand is really simple. My main critique with this is that because this is a solid billet design, you really need to get the right size beforehand. Otherwise, you either don't have enough room or you have too much and the cards rattle around. Another thing with this is that the max capacity for their biggest wallet is 10 cards, which I know sounds like a lot to some people, but some people have even more than that. Of course, they offer this in a few different colors. They also have an Apple AirTag ready option as well. Overall, I think this is a great wallet design that I think more people should find out about. It's not the smallest wallet that I've seen on this list, but I think it's a great wallet, really simple to use, and especially if you carry business cards and cash, you can have everything all in one spot, which I think is really great. Now, compared to Ridge, the size is pretty similar. The x is a little larger, but not by a whole lot. The Ridge looks simpler, but ironically is far more complex and definitely will encounter malfunctions sooner than the x -Sto. The x looks really interesting, but to me, the functional aspects of x make this a clear winner for me. It's so much easier to use, and I feel far more secure with my cash just inside the wallet. I love that they're thinking outside the box and not trying to copy or change Ridge's design. They've created their own completely unique wallet here, and I think that's really cool, really admirable, and makes just a fantastic wallet. If you're looking for something like this that is kind of a solid piece that has no moving parts, this Akini x is hard to beat, and I think it's a great option to have. Definitely check out the x -Sto. So that's all I have. What do you think? I'd love to know your thoughts about these wallets. Do you have a favorite? Is there one that I missed? I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Let me know down in the comments. Of course, again, if you're interested in any of these, definitely check out the links down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beastmate Reviews. Bye.